What's going on guys, it's your boy Max from RPM coming at you with another video today. Me and Sharking Burst 26 are doing a collaboration on um, showing off our Beyblades, explaining some things, and just saying nice things about each other's channel. Um, so first let's get what I have to say about his channel out of the way. I really like his channel, I find it rather entertaining. Um. He does good work with what he has. He has great battles. His Beyblades are nice. They're in good shape. And, uh, yeah. The only thing that I see issues with are the lighting and the camera. But, man, you're doing a good job with what you have. Um, so, yeah. All good things about your channel, bro. Um... Now on to my Beyblades. Um, I'm not putting in my old generation plastic bays. Um, which I believe that series that series ended in 2000. It was either it was one or 2003 that it ended in. I was born in 2003, so they ended about the same time I was born. I never fight. Came around in like 2005. So let's talk about some of my Beyblades. We all know Berserker, Bahamut. Um, I think the Bay has cursed me. Ever since I got it, I've had nothing but bad luck. I mean, I have bad luck anyways, but um, the Bay's never worked right for me. So one day I just like. Hey, uh, you know what, let's put a random combo on and with that and it looks really good. Um Burn Wolf. I wanted something that would be strong, light, and spin for a while. This thing which is a beast. Um Earth Striker T125. I don't know the name of that tip. Um I'll call it Unite, like the burst one. <laughs> um it's a bay that focuses mostly on stamina and defense. It's a really strong bay. I made it. Most of them I have designed for a special purpose. <laughs> Such as these two. The two Spiral Pegasus. Spiral Pegasus Red. It's made for speed, power, and delivering as many attacks fast as it can. The green one. Made for just powerhouse hits. And it's just it's just made for pure power. Flame Cetus, it has one objective. Outlast everything. Galaxy Libra. This thing's made to deliver attacks but keep spinning. Um Divide Fox. It's just kinda made to take hits. It's more of a sparring Beyblade, honestly, but it's fairly decent. Let's get on to the tall ones. Um, Samurai Bagarados. It's a balanced type. It's made to be strong, fairly nimble, um, but it's got a lot of power. Ray Capricorn. It's designed to just get out of the way, like dodge attacks and then land its own. Storm El Drago. It's made just to do pure uppercut attacks. Midnight. Herculeo may just be super fast and get some uppercut attacks. Um Storm Cygnus. This was made um to look like the Beyblades from the anime. Turns out it's actually really good. <laughs> Lightning Fireblaze. It's an attack type made for uppercut attacks. Now on. We're going to get this one out of the way and then it comes down to the real hardcore base. Um, Ray Libra. Just super fast, hard attacks. Now to the main focus. This is one of my modded Beyblades. 
I pulled the rubber spike out. It came on, um, Flash Unicorn all, or, no, that's not it. I'm drawing a blank on the metal, but it's the Unicorn all wheel, where it's got the three blades, and it switches between, um, Smash mode and Barrage mode. I'm drawing a blank on the metal at this exact time, but. Samurai Ifrit Spin Track. This is Storm El Drago. Or as I call it, Lost Long, and it's because it's super unstable. Super fast. Can't keep it in the stadium, I mean. Just a slow launch like this, and the thing goes crazy half the time and flies out of the stadium. It's just a ballistic Beyblade. Big Bang Herculeo. I don't really need to say much about it. It proved itself, made to just deal huge attacks and outspin everything else. <clears throat> Cyclone Pegasus, mean to be super fast, fairly light, getting real good attacks. Hades Capricorn, is super strong, made to take a beating. Spiral um, Fox, bearing drive, made to take a lick and keep on ticking. And by the way, I'm not going on my, onto my own. Um, on my main four, my strongest four. <clears throat> this bay's been with me for a long time. Orso was actually my first Beyblade. Um, Grand Orso. It's just a strong bay. That's all I can really say about it. And then Hades Destroyer. Made to just push everything out of the way and destroy everything in sight. And... Now on to the Burst Beyblades. Obviously you know what those are about, but I'm going to show you the bays that will be in my skits. I am restarting the skit series. It's going to be called Beyblade Reborn. So, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with it. I'm not sure who I'm going to have the main character, but I know this will definitely be one of them. Odax, 6 Vortex Loop. I put that in the original skits because it was so strong. It's also going to be in my next tournament, which will be my bay. Let's see if I can take two tournaments in a row with this thing. Um, I'm bringing back one of the old, the OGs, the guard dog. <laughs> he done seen it. Curbea Central Guard. Just a good day, I really like it. Um Betramoth Boost Flugel. Just kind of an interesting bay. I wanted to focus on kind of balance. It's got a little bit of attack power, a little bit of stamina, a little bit of defense. Just kind of a rounded off bay, I'd say. Speaking of round Beyblades, Maximum Garuda, Spread Rolf. I picked it because the slides on this are pretty loose. This way it can still lose. <laughs> um, two people that I feel like deserve to get into the skits because of their bays. Wyvron, 8 Massive, which was made by Kuritakai. I feel like it just deserves to be in the skits. I'm not putting Flow on it because it seems to be worse with Flow. And Shark King Burst 26 with an absolutely... Pure powerhouse combo. Ultra Kronos 5 hold, but I did put Glaive on it. Um, doesn't help or hurt the bay really. It's, it's kind of meh. Gives it a little bit more life after death and a little bit more attack, I find. Um, I couldn't really think of anything for this. So, Doom Sizer 6, Flow, Excel, I mean. It's Doom Sizer. Um, Minoboros, and I'm actually changing the combo on it to its stock combo with Oval Quake. I'm not sure why I did that, but I did. So, the reason I found that was because I found that the combo that I had on it was just fairly weak. I mean, here, let's do a test real quick. I'm not wearing my gloves. I'm not too worried about that right now. So, Blast Genius Armored, 
crayons that's staying in it. Let's find out which is better. Let's find out which combo from Minoboros is better. I mean, this way it obviously has quite a bit of attack. It jumps around. It's fairly strong. The match goes to Genius, and it took a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Now let's go back to Heavy Fusion. As you can see, it's a lot more stable. It's going to have more stamina. Yeah, it's a pretty good attack. Well, it did outlast it. Let's see how much damage it took. None. So I guess it's staying heavy fusion, which means I need to figure out something for these guys. You know what? I think I just figured something out. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, or can I do this? Yep, that's going to happen. <laughs> um... I just made one of the dumbest combos on Planet Earth. Actually, I made several dumb ones. So, Genius is staying in it. Um, Wyvron, Oval Blow, kind of stupid. The really, really stupid one. Satum, Vertical, Variable. I mean, just... Satum ain't my <laughs> ripcord. Let's just... Test against Genius real quick. If it burst due to this bay, I would and wouldn't be surprised. It's not too bad. It almost bursted. Didn't do anything to this. Not surprised. Let's see how it does against Y Run. Well, it gets some really good attacks. It's kind of a funny bay. I see this definitely being a weaker Beyblade in the thing. That was my fault. Um. So, let's get on to the last two. Genesis Oval Quake. And Valtriac 2 Glaive Reboot. Um. So, yeah, guys. Those are the bays. That's it. Um. And I just want to show you how I record my videos. So I get my base stadium here. I have all my Beyblades laid off to the side. My launcher. My other launcher over there. This is what I record with. That's right. I put it on a stool and a plastic tote with a lamp on it with a floodlight. Good old hillbilly ingenuity. Um, My phone has a kickstand. For its case, so it works out good. Well, guys, that is about it. Jerking Burst 26 is going to make one of these today, I believe. Um, I believe this was the day that we had it scheduled for. That, or I'm just really tired this morning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Doing the collaboration with Jerking Burst 26. Let's see what he does with his. And that is about it, guys. It's your boy Maximum Arm Ham signing out. Hope this video made your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max, and stay awesome.